Hi guys, it's Amy with Aim to Plan, and today I am here with another plan with me in my cute little micro. Super excited about this video. I've got my micro right here set up. This is a planner that I got off of Timu. I'm actually super excited because I was able to get the 2025 version of this same planner for, you know, obviously setting it up in a micro. And so that will be a video that's coming up on my channel. Super, super excited to stay in the size. And it could be something where, I don't know, I mean, I'm really loving it. I love the idea of being this small and this portable. So I don't know, maybe I'll consider something like this for 2025 as part of my main planner lineup. So all that to say, I'm here to decorate for this week. It is May 13th through the 19th. It is right after Mother's Day in the United States. And this is just one of those weeks where this will be the last, I guess, normal week for the spring season because the week after this starting on the 20th is going to be the last week of school for my girls and so after that it's just going to be insanity <laughs> with summer schedules and all of that so this is to me like the last real week i guess next week kind of is like half normal half not normal but this is it this is the last normal week so i decided to go ahead and just pull out this one sticker book spoonful of faith this is um, an older sticker book from the happy planner um there are um, when i flip through it some smaller stickers that i thought would work well in here um since it is such a small size this planner um, i can't really use some of the giant stickers in here but i loved these florals and i don't know i thought it would be cute to just put this together now since this is a micro it's going to be super super quick and easy to decorate it um, and so we'll just get into it and get started um i was looking for actual boxes but i don't see any i do like these um but i was looking for some boxes but i think i'll just skip it um, and maybe need some dots or something Oh, here's some. All right, I'm gonna pull this sheet out right here. Oh, and this one too. Okay, so there were some. I, I was like, when I flipped through it initially, I didn't see these, but there are some smaller boxes. I use these size boxes for the micro, this micro planner, just because it is so, so small and you can't really use any bigger ones. And then we're gonna keep it really, really simple. Like I said, I think I'm going to just use the florals and um, it will be this page of florals. And this page of florals and and that'll be pretty much it um i'll put this to the side just in case there's some others that i want to pull out of it but I, I think that should be good all right i saw some dots in here too let me go ahead and flip to that where are the dots there they are all right so some dots right here just in case i want to use that um and some like cute i love it okay so again very super tiny one of the things that i did already do here is i used like a I can't remember if it was Agenda 52. I don't think it was. It was like probably a Paper Studio sticker. And I stuck my little note here that I'm getting paid this week. Love getting paid. So that's super exciting. Um, and this week is, like I said, the last of the normal weeks um, for spring term for me. Um, and so for me, I tend to operate on like the school year so there's going to be of course a spring semester a fall semester and then summer and so this is the the end of the spring semester for me the the spring term is just kind of wrapping up um the kids will be out of school starting next week um they they get like half the week in school but then they're out of school for half of the week so you know at that point i have to shift into summer mom mode um and it's just a different schedule um and so i definitely want to hop on here and record a summer schedule video just because a lot of times i do that and it helps me to kind of solidify what i'm thinking for summer um and you know it's just it's just nice to to think about that as a mom what i need to do um and this is the first summer that i have had um ever with the kids where I am actually working during the summer. Um, so ever since I've had my kids, um, my previous job, I was off during the summer as a like a nine month employee. Now I'm a 12 month employee. So what does that look like for me? And so there, there's going to be, I think some planning that's involved there. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely wanna think about that. Now I've gone ahead and laid down some of the flowers, but I do need to go in here and put in some events. I think I'm gonna put this blue one though. I want to stick with like kind of the blue and the pink, of course. There's definitely um, Monday I have an event and then Tuesday I have an event. 
super fun events for me to kind of again like stay in the groove of like adulting and like hanging out with like grown-ups but also you know just making sure that I get some self-care time so those are two of the events that are occurring related to that let me see what else oh here I have a concert that I'm going to so I'm gonna lay that down here and then let's see what else I am thinking okay definitely Wednesday Wednesday we have a um, a fundraiser for Sophia my seven-year-old so that is there and then Thursday I'm pretty sure unless I'm I'm misremembering um, but I'm pretty sure we have a another event here and right offhand I can't remember what it is I'm not quite sure why I lost it in my brain let me think let me think what is it oh I know what it is it is the dance recital for my nieces I saw recently that there's this, this whole idea of like may simber where May can be just as busy as December and I totally feel that especially with all the end of year wrap-up type stuff you know it gets so so busy around here all right so just taking a look this right here is very empty but I don't have any plans for Friday and Saturday at this moment. Um, one thing that my husband did ask me was like whether we wanted to do a lunch date here, um, but I don't know if he's still thinking about that or not. Um, again, this is like the last normal week for me. Um, and so I don't know if I want to, to have a, a lunch date with him. Um, it might be good, you know, just so that way we can, again, keep up the good vibes and like celebrate the end of the spring term. Um, I don't like cutting off these words, so I'm gonna move this sticker over. And this is a giant sticker. You can see it basically takes up the entire day, Friday. But if I need to, I would I would just stick a box over it and just write over the box. But I don't like I don't like covering up any words. If I can at all help it, I'm gonna trim off this little edge. And like I said, if I do end up like going on the lunch date or adding in events for Friday, I would just stick a colorful box right on top of this floral and call it a day. But otherwise it's super cute like that, I think. And brings in some of the some of the reds. It's not exactly the same color, but I don't mind it being different. I'm gonna add a couple of florals right here just to fill in this part of it. Right here. And I think I want one blue one and we're gonna call it done. I mean, it's really, super simple uh, i wish there were more blue over here so i think i'm gonna add this little dot that says love this life and then we will call it done i don't even know if you can hear the storm it is storming right now <laughs> it is super rough but i'm gonna add this right here just to bring in a little bit of blue and then we're gonna call it done isn't that super super cute all right, Saturday, I'm going to have to fill it in with something. But that is my plan with me for this week. Super straightforward, super simple. Um, it is so fun to, de to decorate this size. It fills up very quickly, as you can see. And I still have room for more stickers, but I also would like to write in here. And so if I need the writing space, I, I do have some spaces here and there to be able to do that. So we're going to call it done. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel. And until the next video, bye guys.